We're having some technical issues here, so we have to do this in voiceover style. Hopefully you guys don't mind. I'm doing my halfway through flip through, even though it's a little more than halfway through the year. I had to do it late because I had some shipping issues, you know, with the virus going on. But my junk journal is getting really hefty. You can see it from the side. And this tab says 2020 memories on it. I zoom you in, but... It's hard to see. I'm sorry about that. Like I told you, technical issues. So I have a few changes right off the bat that you're going to see, and then a few that get more gradual. As you can see, this change, if you've been following the process of me making this journal, is this tag that I made. If you want to know how to make it, let me know. I can do a tutorial on it. It's really easy. I stuck these Polaroids that I took in there that didn't turn out the way I wanted to, so I just put them in there. I'm also going to journal at the end of the year about 2020 entirely and stick it in there. Then we have the January page, which has no changes on it, but it says January at the top, and that's a good luck pretzel to German tradition. Every year I make it, I eat it, and every year that I have made it and eaten it, like I'm supposed to, I just want the best luck. So I think I'm done with it this year. I think um, 2021, I will not be making it. And then this page, again, nothing changed with these layouts. It's me and my niece. Um, there's a sticker. I can't remember what it says, but it's something about family. Then we have a butterfly. Then on the next page, it's me and my husband, but nothing had changed in this layout either. Then over here, the only change is that there is some washi I added between the pictures of Max and Lacey. And then we're on February after that, and this was Lacey's adoption anniversary, and it says, Happy Gotcha Day. Then over here, I added some washi, and that is the only change. And then these are pictures from a hiking trip and also Lacey's adoption anniversary. And then under this picture of me and my husband, I have... A few pictures that I wanted to include but didn't want to include in a layout. Um, here and there is one change which is the washing down the middle but this is my, one of my favorite layouts of all time. This is a trip from West Virginia. Um, I used the map from Harper's Ferry and I think it, it turned out great. I love it. So that's part of the map. It says Harper's Ferry and those pictures are part of the map. And then I doodled. I wrote um, country roads take me home and I cut out the words West Virginia on the map and added some music notes. Then over here this is also part of the map and there is a button there because I messed up the cut when I cut the map and that's part of the map as well. I was there. Oh first of all I had some washi and then I was there in that picture so I wanted it to be showing. But I had some washi down the middle, and on the next page, it's March, and it says Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, six months remission anniversary. And I hiked up that tower for symbolism purposes, and then I took a few pictures, and those pictures are in that fabric pocket. Then over here, the first page, nothing changed. The second page, a lot changed. So, I first of all, I added some washi on the second page. Um, here, here's where I added the washi at the top and bottom of that page. And then these bits right here are cut up uh, book pages that I distressed and glued down because I felt like it looked like old newspaper. And then I distressed the boo crew down there. That's a Halloween cutout. I distressed it. There's the washi. Um, and then... On that sticker, I removed the doily that was around it, and you'll see what I did with it soon. And then it just says the location and who I was with there. So here, um, I think I zoom in on this page, but that is the doily. And I also did a bit of, there's the doily. So I did a bit of the newspaper um well, book pages that I distressed and felt like it looked like an old newspaper. I really love the way that looked because it added to that page. It was an old speakeasy. 
investigation and then over here is pictures from the farm and I really didn't change much at all. I really like the um, foundation page I used for the farm pictures. Again, more farm pictures, really not much have changed, but I did add a sticker down there. And that's about it. Same thing with there, no changes for the farm pictures. Over here, I had some washi and a button. And Ginger and Lacey Max, and then we're on April. And I journaled here, and I had a little bit of washi where I journaled. I just like the look of it. And I journaled about the circumstances. We're in our masks in these Polaroids. And I journaled about how we have to wear a mask and how we're just social distance. Okay, so then over here, um, I didn't change anything over here either. And it's from my grandma's birthday. So I just journaled a little bit about that. Um, so it's together through, through thick and thin. And then that's um, a play date that Lacey had. And that is a little pocket that I think is adorable with some extra pictures. Um, I did add a little bit of washi on that pocket. And then I added uh, lace right there. And I added a flower. And because I messed up my cut, because I couldn't leave well enough alone, I had to cut it a little bit more, try to make it perfect. I added washi there because I messed it up. So nothing really changed here. I journaled a lot on this page. I did add a little bit of washi because, like I said, I messed up the cut. There's washi there that I didn't mess that up. I just like the look of it. And then I have some pictures in this envelope where I journaled on that picture, made a journaling card. And again, journaling about having to wear masks just to walk, to walk the dog. Okay, we can move on now. Oh, I really like this picture that I took. So over here, I did make a difference. I made a tab, and I think that looks so cute. So I made it with cardstock and a little bit of lace, and I journaled about having my first quarantine anniversary. It was in May. Then over here, it, it says wedding memories, and I made this really cute envelope that this video doesn't do it justice. Those flowers are from the centerpieces at my wedding and I just included a Polaroid from the wedding and I just think it's so cute. I love this page. Over here there's really no changes but those are a bunch of hiking pictures. Um, I love the washi here and this is a family hike that I went on and it says family hike right underneath. That's a toad or a frog. It's a frog, not a toad. Um, there's another one of those really cute envelopes that I made. And I made a journaling card for this picture. And I wrote even the cat came because she came on our family hike. That flower in the middle is one of my favorite things I've done on this page or on in this book, I mean. So I glued down a flower that I had and I used green washi to create the stems. And I just think it looks so good. And the leaves as well. And that is a picture of me and Lacey at the park, or at a park, I should say. And I think this page turned out really cute. Then over here, it's a very simple page. There's really not a lot going on. Um, underneath there, it says, in every walk of nature, one receives more than she seeks. And then on the next page, it says, Lacey's favorite park, because we were at Lacey's favorite park in that picture. Then over here, um, I just made a pocket from a bag that I got with a purchase, and I included some things from purchases, some receipts, this bookmark, and I put this Monster Club sticker down. Then over here, I tore up a book page. I distressed it, glued it down. I used some more flowers, glued them down, decoupage them down, I think. And I did a little flat, or a little bird, I mean, that I decoupaged down. And I wrote a hike in Delaware, because we took a hike in Delaware. And then this page, I journaled about Lacey's first beach trip. And those 
pictures in that tuck space are a mixture of pictures from hiking and her beach trip. And that's my first collage page there. So I collaged a few things to represent the beach. I love that one picture. And then I cut out some pictures and put them on there. Then over here is more beach pictures and I wanted to keep it pretty simple. And then the next page, it was Father's Day, so I journal about my grandfather and missing him on Father's Day. So it's a memory page to him, like a dedication page. And then over here is my nephew's birthday party, and I used scrap um, wrapping paper from his gift. I rounded off the edges of that picture of him blowing up the candles. I used some wave stickers because he did have a water-themed birthday. I journaled about his birthday and how... I journal about him in general in this little note that I um, safety pinned. Then I made a flip out. And there's my niece and my nephew on the water slide. That's a picture of my nephew. And that's, is that it? That's it. Okay, that is it. So then I have an envelope of extra pictures that I really didn't have any space for, but I wanted to keep here. And that's it. That is my uh, junk journal for 2020 so far.